Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Fortmaster, and welcome back to Wasteland 3. Uh, not much to say, last episode we explored the entirety of the base. Um, I mean, we actually, wait a second, I wonder, what was hit, what was Tomai's, uh, explosives? Yeah, he only has one, he needed like a three to get past all these trap, all the traps that were still here, so... Um, probably by the time we get back from, what was it, like, Colorado Springs? Was that? Yeah, downtown Colorado Springs. By the time we get back here from there, um, we will, uh, we'll be able to get through the rest of the explosive traps that are here, and we'll be able to have free reign of the entire base. Yay. <laughs> so let's go, shall we? Yes, I want to travel. Why else would I click on it? You know, given the fact that this guy has, that she has a name, probably should talk to her. You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? With. We work with the Patriarch. Uh, we're rangers. We work for any, uh, we work for anyone who needs our help. Yeah, that works. Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Um, yes. Yeah, so what happened? Why is he being sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Uh, yeah. Who's your son? Austin Pease. The skinny boy up Pease. on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone. Ever. Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. <laughs> now it's just the two of us. And I'm gonna lose him too. Well, we'll see what we Please can do. Help my son. Dorsey prisoner. Jeez, what is this? Death to Buchanan! Murderers! This kid's going to the pillories next. Families. Pillories. Okay. Uh Why did Dorsey slain a recent incursion? Okay, are you you're the uh magistrate, okay? Howdy judge, how's your heart? <laughs> Howdy judge, how's your heart? <laughs> Marshal Kwan, impertinent as ever, I see. No, Marshal Kwan, impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival, partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders. You'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Uh, yeah. what are the pillories? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes, I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. Jeez. Oh, I mean, I in that case, I just want... I would just want my head cut off. There are no other punishments here? For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods... But it's outside my jurisdiction. Wait, so you don't approve of a work camp, but you approve death by exposure? 
minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Well, I mean, that's... I mean, that's basically what we do now. It, death by exposure seems harsh. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. Uh... Okay. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. And let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it too, don't you? Let's be honest, Judge! <laughs> Just like, they're over here, so he's basically yelling at them. No, I do not. I only do what the law commands. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I'll follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the Wastelanders. Uh, yeah, let's talk about something else. Proceed. Uh, young prisoner Austin? A mother will say anything to save her child. If you want the truth, talk to the boy yourself. Yeah, we should probably should talk to him. Indeed. Austin Peace, teenager, and you know, gaunt pale, his hair tussled and greasy, his face angular with hunger. You know, he stares at the pillars with dread, swallowing occasionally. Sorry, I, I didn't, I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Uh, how'd you get in trouble? I made a real big mistake. See, the Plains Gang chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. Probably. I mean, if the uh, if people are offering you help, but the only way to get the help is vandalism or breaking the law, I think there are oftentimes better ways. So why did you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I mean, given this is a post-apocalypse, glass, I would imagine, is kind of rare. <laughs> Especially window glass. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Uh... What's your sentence? I, I mean, I think he's... Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. Mm -hmm. They're gonna let the cold do its work. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it'll hurt. Uh, from what I've heard, what'll actually happen is... Like, you'll start to feel actually warm. I mean, it, at least I think that's how it goes. I mean, granted, I've never frozen to death before. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. <laughs> Wish I could tell you it won't, kid! Um... Let's... What's it worth, dude? hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. I guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work. If you'll have me. You have any useful skills? I'm used to hard work around the homestead. And I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. 
I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Mm. Okay, let's try to free this man. To you. Um, let's try to get our skills up, because, um, I'm... You know, I'm going to hope that nothing changes until we, like, leave the scene or something. So, actually, wait, before we do that, I'm just, I'm going to save. Come back if we don't save. Uh, peas? Is that Pesce? Sure, we'll go with that. Mom? Mom? Oh. Sorry. Never mind. Did you... Have you lost your mother? Just a minute. Can we talk to you? What? Why? What do you want? Do you need help? No, please. I just need you to go away. Please. I, I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... We, uh... Got separated. Hmm. Uh... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> Separated, eh? There, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. Smiling lady. Okay. One of her men took me out of the cage to, to, I kicked him as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Oh, jeez. Stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye. Okay, so, oh, no, don't fire the shotgun. David, I know you like that gun, but please do not. What is this? Machine shop. I don't want to reload this area just in case we, in case I lose the kid. Uh, let's see what's over here then. Oh, wait a second. Actually, wait. Didn't we have to see the uh, the, yes, the yes! deputy? No regret. No no repentance. Eh, good cop, bad cop, and a swing exposed light bulb. Classic. <laughs> Uh, level four lockpick, eh? Hmm, we're gonna have to come back here. Hi, you have a name. Oh, Marshals, finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Ruffians? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Tenterhooks? <laughs> ruffians? Why are you, are you always as rude? I'm sorry. I was raised better than that. It's just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. Mm. Uh, yeah, who are you? My name is Lucia Wesson. Daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. So you have money. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys and... And I fear for their lives. Mm. We are the founding families of Colorado Springs. Descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, we're there's we can help well, you. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. Adam? No. Thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. <laughs> Frustrating though that may be. 
I just, I like that, I like this whole thing, or like this group is talking to this woman, and then here I am, just in the corner, just like standing in the corner. Sheriff is a statuesque woman with gray blonde hair and steel in her smile. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Speak. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, <laughs> boss? Thank, Kwan. Thank you, Kwan. Kwan? I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, let's talk to you about wrestling and families. Uh, we'd be glad to help. Uh, we have, yeah, a few more questions. Rangers, I'd love to trade war stories, but I've got marshals calling me left and right, dead folks lying in the streets, and reports of Dorsey stragglers all over the city. Let's circle back later. Okay, now, then. the Dorsey's hostages are from the fancy side of town. Hundred families folk. Try to get them out of there alive, or I'll never hear the fucking end of it. Okay. And please, take young Miss Wesson with you. I need that girl out of my hair. In fact, I'm going to insist. I'm telling Lupinski not to let you into the garden without her. But don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Well, okay then. Hi, recruit! Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. Did you not hear I hear what she Wesson says? She spoke of. It, Lucia Wesson, daughter of... You Cousin literally Wesson just said this! Of the hundred families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So. You literally just I'm told us, you have short-term memory loss. Uh, I can't eat, what can you, uh, what is the Garden of the Gods? It's a project of the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. Well, I mean... This world. I mean, depending on how... We don't know what the rest of the world looks like. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. <laughs> She's making a joke. She knows very well that my father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk. And I'm the best shot in this city. You may ask anyone. Everybody knows what I can do. Have you ever killed anybody? I... no. But I have hunted. Okay, so just imagine that all the Dorseys are deer. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. Uh, no survival. Okay, let's go. At last. <sighs> Okay, so we got ourselves a full troop. Let's go exploring and actually wait, I need to look at your stats. Uh so pistol. Lucia's revenge. How does it compare to this uh, to this one? Oh, and you know what? I found out the the weapons we uh we had in our inventory at the very beginning of the game, there you get them for basically pre ordering the game and which I did, so yay. Oh Josiah, just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, alright? Hi, we're somebody else. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. 
You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. <laughs> Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Uh, what's yeah? Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop, finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after him. Is he wearing a suit jacket? Uh, well, I mean, we already know why the marshals can't. They're kind of everything. Um. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? <laughs> you do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Uh, well, don't worry. I will try to do as le the least amount of collateral damage possible. Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! No. I done told you! Don't come any closer! Hmm, you moron, you hold up at a clothing store, put on some nice duds and just walk out. Only good Dorsey is a dead Dorsey. Calm down, guys, we just want to talk. No way! Got these fuckers! Drat. Ah, oh, great. Oh. Okay, well, your store is clear. Oh boy. Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. Say, if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho garage, just outside the city gate. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Well, thank you. Come on back after we reopen the shop. He's nervous but determined, he steps forward as you approach. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. What, uh, what kind of authorization? An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all that settled sense. down, patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Uh, what's through the gate? Five more heights and the patriarch's palace. Okay, so the rich people. Okay, goodbye. Good day. Are those snowballs? Hey, take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Yeah, they got some really good loot. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them. But you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from Marcius no more. Fire. Ow. This is a bad idea. What is 
Yes, yes, you're fine. Seriously? <sighs> Down to Ranger. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, help him! Lucky crit. Come on, dumpster. If we can loot it, let's see if there's loot. Uzi. But how does that compare to the assault rifle? Because that would allow you to use a different ammo. Uh, so it does more damage. Uh, on average, uh, greater ammo capacity, lesser range. Is there hit chance, greater crit? What's the ammo it uses? Nine millimeter ammo. What kind of, do we have nine? Oh yeah, we have a bit, so well, we'll give him an Uzi. Sure. Actually, wait, what ammo does yours use? Oh, 30, uh, uh, 38. Okay. Internet car, uh, crackles and a woman's voice addresses you. What's the matter with you? Don't you know the city's on lockdown? I'm not opening the door to nobody. Go away! Okay. Don't need to be so rude. I just realized. S spikes. Railroad spikes. Is there a railroad rifle in this game? Hi, Marshal Lubinsky. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. So much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. What's behind the gate? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck those Dorseys. Nope. <laughs> okay. No you weren't even going to give us like a uh, like an, an estimate or something. No. Shit, Taiwan. God, it is. We best stay back. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. Uh. <laughs> Heck no! That mine is right in front of my stock. Uh, yeah, we'll see what oh, we can do. Thank God. You'd be doing me a shell of a favor. Did she say cod and shell? Wish I could get these flipper and marshals to take care of the dang bomb under my stall. It's like, do you have like the child safety filter, the child, the, the profanity filter on on you or something? Really? That's great news. Well, thank you. Here's a little something for you. Money. I'm back in business. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium! We have everything you need, just for the asking and, well, the paying. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorsey's Franz? all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? It, it, what's with the ocean puns? I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. You selfish? No. Nope. No, wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Me? I've never even seen a fish in my life. Wondrous creatures, I hear. You are weird. Uh, to look at yourself? Uh, you want to hear about the wide open seas, my trusty vessel, the wild waves crashing the shores? Well, sorry, chums. I'm just here to sell stuff. What would you like? Uh, what's your, what are your wares? 
That's not even a word. Oh, ammo, yay. Uh, we do, uh, can I just focus on ammo? Yeah, we need, what are the ones we need? So we need, like, shotgun, uh, we need sniper, and we need rockets. Those are, like, the three we need, so. Sniper Jimmy Bob's still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's. You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Oh, hey. Snapping those Slim Jim. New faces? Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. Uh, what's your story, Jimmy Bob? That's snapping Jimmy Bob, thank you. <laughs> what's your story, snapping Jimmy Bob? My dad was a traitor and a good one, and now I'm a traitor and a good one. Might seem boring to wandering muscle like yourself, but I like it. Okay. What's the contraption at the end of your st oh, is that a microwave? Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. Hmm. Let's. What do you got? Uh, consumables. Got a machine gun turret. Okay. Hmm, got ammo and not that much. I think we're okay. Oh, hello. Welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mart. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. I can clean you up, sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Oh, hi, Mary. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey raid. I can help with that, too. What do you need? Oh, what's your story? Just a simple humanitarian who saw a niche that needed filling. Now, are you buying or are you talking? Well, I mean, I'd hope to do both. Uh, what do you got for sale? Remedies for regret, children. Headache pills, hair of the dog, pills for the pox, pills for the pain, and first aid kits for those of you who might have started something you couldn't finish. All guaranteed to fill you with pep and put a spring in your step. What can I get you? Let's trade. Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. Hmm. We use duct tape to fix this. Terrible. The Theodoric Curie. Ah, hello there. The name's Theodoric Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions. If you're here to learn about our wall. Uh, who are you? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. Well, oh, sorry. Believe me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. Mm. You got business with Mama Cotter? Uh, no, not right now. Well then, stop wasting my time until you do. Jimmy Cotter. Talk to Mama. She always knows what to do. Got nothing to say to you. Talk to our mom. I'm sensing a pattern here. Y'all seem nice. But if you got business with the Carters, you should talk to Mama. Okay. Uh, linebacker and a, a linebacker and a lab coat. The the doctor's clearly weary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody head of an unconscious young woman. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. 
Understood, brother. Uh, can we do anything to help? They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Uh, you can count on us. What do you need? Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. Didn't we literally just find those in the boxes outside? Yeah, we already have the kits you wanted. Great. Then get started on those patients. Got it. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. Okay, well, that's good. Where? What's going on? Did you patch me up? You closed my wound. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own gods. Uh, we're done with the pa uh, well, we can't with the patients. They should all pull through. Good. Thank you. Oh, one second. Though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head. But there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. Yeah, other than a car garage. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? <laughs> sure. Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Oh, thank, well, no, I mean, thank you. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Uh, yeah, we could use some medical attention. Let's have a look. Hey! Good luck. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet, but we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. Okay. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. R repair people? Yeah. Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Yeah, well, I mean, we helped, so... I mean, I assume so. Best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. <laughs> nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Well, we took him. <laughs> Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Okay, yeah. Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer's our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. <laughs> At the moment? Yeah, I guess so. What do you mean, at the moment? 
Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Well, except for those of us who run the stations. We mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed, transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. I mean, that's good. Do you hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. What do you got? A couple repairs. Rhino. Okay, cool. Uh, truck horn. And toolkit. Cool. Okay. So he Murderers! Rangers. What brings you here? We're here to save the boy. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Mm. He took the job only because he was starving. Uh, true justice would, uh, would free him and let him work to redeem himself for his minor infractions. Uh, what if the rangers were to pay for the damages? Isn't that bad? Yeah. Well, I mean, this one's a speech check, so we're going to obviously go with this one. Hmm. I am not certain you truly understand the Patriarch's justice, but your words ring true. Perhaps death is too severe a punishment. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. Okay. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. How does it feel now? Best! Still here. Bad. I'm looking forward to what comes next. Uh, well, we talked to the magistrate, and he and he'll release you. But you'll be working for us now. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life, and and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do: clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. I hope you die slow. You rangers are heroes. Bastards! I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for Thank you. Okay. Uh, huh. Wonderful. So. Garden of the Gods. Okay, so I guess I've been recording for an hour, so I should probably start recording, stop recording here then. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you have not. And next episode, we're going to be going into the Garden of the Gods to save those hostages. So, see you next time. Goodbye.